I'm Jason Finkel. I'm a producer, mixer, engineer in Brooklyn. I spend most of my time mixing people's records. We're here at Converse Rubber Tracks today, and I'm going to show you what I did to a track by an artist called Abadabad. The song's called All the Bros Say. I'm going to take you step by step through each track and give you sort of an idea um, of what I applied to it, you know, to beef it up and make it a little bit bigger. All right, so we're here at Rubber Tracks. Uh, I've got Abadabad's All the Bros Say up on uh, the console. I'm going to switch between his original mix and the one that I'm currently working on right now. And you'll hear the differences as we go along. So let's, uh, let's listen to it. Switch over to my mix here in a second. As you can see, it's, as you can hear, it's a lot bigger, a lot fuller, a little more seductive. Go back to the verse. Cool. Let's take a look at each of the individual parts. When I got the drums, they were just a stereophile. Two tom samples and a tambourine. What I did is chopped it up, got the samples from him, relayered the whole track, um, added some of my own samples, a bunch of compression, some drum subs, adding the drums back underneath. Um, some EQ. So let's listen to the original drums. As you can hear, they just sound like programmed drums, nothing special. Let's switch over it and listen to my drums. Again, they're much bigger, much fuller much more uh, inviting. Let's take a look at the bass. Uh, the bass was just a DI that he had sent me. Um, so let's take a look, listen real quickly to what the original sounded like. All right, so, you know, sounded like a properly recorded bass DI. So what I did is uh, I took the original DI and I duplicated it twice. I added a uh, Ampeg uh, B15 simulation on one and a Sans Amp on another. And a little bit of other couple tricks and uh, get this. Let's take a look at the guitars. Um, there's a bunch of guitars on this track. The guitars make the song. And unlike the bass, I actually like the amp sound that he had. He had a bit of a, a spring reverb on it and it sounded really cool. So I wanted to keep that. I'm going to play uh, the original guitars, which were uh, tracked with a DI and then just use an amp simulator um, in Logic. Um, so let's listen down and uh, I'll add them in as we go. So what I did is I just kind of beefed up each individual instrument, added a little bit more ambience and reverb. Let's go ahead and listen to all the guitars together. Um, here we go. <laughs> 